good evening ma'am yeah varshit good evening join right time very good varshit homework then completed what now did i give any homework previous class varshit no ma'am okay Hey, we discussed the question paper, right? Last yes, two yes. bits are left. Okay, okay. Yeah, Anubhav is not joined. What's the problem with Anubhav? The mother is keeping some message. Anubhav is having a deep wound in mouth, so he cannot attend the class. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Krithvik. Good evening. Yes. Krithvik, uh, previous class we discussed about the question paper. Last two bits were left, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, now. Yes, Krithvik, sorry, I just muted and I'm continuously talking. Okay. Yes, Krithvik, what is the question number three, Krithvik? Mom, imagine that you're a fighter pilot trying a jet aircraft at an altitude of 20,000 feet. You lower the aircraft by 7,000 feet and then raise it by 5,000 feet. What is the net change in the altitude? Also find the altitude. altitude. Also find the altitude after two changes. So ima imagine that you are fighter pilot. What is a fighter pilot means? Yes or no? Fighter pilot flying a jet aircraft at an altitude of 20,000 feet. You are flying above the sea level, above how much uh, height you are flying, children? You are flying 20 meters, 20,000 feet above the ground. So you lower the aircraft by 7,000 feet. That means how much you should be come to come down to which, which feet? I'm sorry. No, no, that's come down is 17. So that after coming down, at what position you are? 13,000 feet, ma'am. Yes. Very good, 13,000 feet. And then you are raising by 5,000. Again, uh, your uh, opposite uh, person is going again uh, up. So you people also raising up by 5,000. Right now you are in 13,000 feet. 13,000 plus? Ma'am, 12,000 feet. 5,000. That means where is your position? Ma'am, 18,000 feet. 18,000 feet. Right now you are at a net change in the altitude. Also find the altitude after the two changes. Right now after two changes, you are at, you are at above the ground 18,000 feet. That's your net change. What is the net change in the altitude? Altitude, how much net change? Initially, it was 20 feet. After that, uh, you are um, changing to 18,000 feet. What is the net change? Ma'am, 20,000 feet. 
No, 20,000 to 18,000. That means what is the net change? 2,000 feet lower. You lowered at 2,000 feet. That's the net change here happened. Uh, did you, how many of you completed the correct answer you are given? Ma'am, I got net change 2,000. Yes. Prithvika, did you get yes. the correct one? Um, but you have to write the statement. What is the first statement we can write here? Write the statement. What is the first statement we can write? Ma'am, no. I'm flying at the altitude. What's the position of that? First position of the jet position or initial position or first position or initial position of the uh, fighter pilot flying at the you know, RNC initial position of the flight is equal to 20,000 feet. So, aircraft lowered by 7,000 feet. That means after lowering the 7,000 feet, the position of the, the position of the flight is 13,000 feet. Again, after raising 5,000 feet, the position of the flight is 18,000. What is net change in the altitude? How much net change happened here? Yes, Leshita joined late. Why so better? Ma'am, I just now got the link. You'll be short by events. Uh, you get the message immediately. You can join, right? Okay. So here the question number three. Other day we discussed it till two bits, right? The question three and four we have to discuss. Then we will go with our next part. In this question, you are the fighter pilot. Imagine, image like that. You are the fighter pilot flying in a jet aircraft. An altitude. Altitude is nothing but height. What is the meaning of altitude, children? From height. Height. That's all. You are uh, you are uh, flying at the height of twenty thousand feet above the ground. And immediately you are lower aircraft by 7,000 feet. That means 20,000 minus 7,000, which is 13,000 feet. Then again, raises by 5,000. Raises means you have to add to 13,000. 13,000 plus 8 is 18,000 feet. And that is the altitude after changing. After the two changes, the altitude of the aircraft is at 18,000 height, 18,000 feet height. Now they're asking another question. What is the net change in the altitude? Net, how much it is changing? Initially, aircraft is 20,000. After doing two changes, it is at 18,000 feet. What is the net change here? 2,000 feet. 18, 20 minus 18, which is 2,000. No, no, yes. Huh, yes, correct. Uh, Krithvik, you are correct? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Your scores once again five marks. Put a five marks for you. What about Varshit? Ma'am, I got net change correct, ma'am. Altitude wrong. Oh, till till 18,000, you did? Ma'am, I did 18,000, but I rolled to the alti altitude 22,000. Oh, net change. Okay, you are not adding to that. Okay, okay. It's not addition beta, it's subtraction. Okay, 20 minus 18, which is the difference of the heights. That's two. You can cut one mark and make it as four. Okay. Right. Now go with uh, Varshit, question number four. Can you please read out the question number four? Yes, ma'am. Raghu has 30 marbles. In five games, he won three marbles each, and in seven games, he lost two marbles each. Find the marbles Ra Raju has at the Raghu, end. Raghu, of games. Raghu, 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 Raghu has at the end of the game. Yeah. It's a question is initially, suppose we are going with uh, uh, instead of Raghu, Leshita having 30 marbles with her. Okay. she In game, five games. Uh, so initially, that is the step. You have to keep 30 marbles in the jar. What she is having initially. And what happened? She 
played a few games. In five games, uh, she won three marbles each. That means uh, in five games, she won three marbles each. Means how many marbles has she won? 15 marbles. Very good. She won 15 marbles. And in seven games, she lost two marbles each. Ma'am. Yes, how many she lost in seven ma games? 14. 14. 14, right? Leshita, 14. That means how many, overall, how many she gained? 15 she gained, she lost 14. That means how much left for her? Um, one. One. Initially, how many marbles with Leshita? Ma'am, 30. 30 plus 1 is? 31, ma'am. So at the end, uh, how many marbles with Leshita is having? That's the question. So Leshita has at end of the game? 31 marbles. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Right. How many of you correct? Both of you correct? Ma'am, I got correct, ma'am. Very good, Varshit. Very good. What about ma Krithvi? Ma'am, me too correct. Only. Good, Nana. Good. That means you may lose. How many marks you may lose? Please let me know. Ma'am, I got uh, 28. Okay, Rana. Next time, next time, you should not, okay, you can be a little cautious. This type of questions only probably you may get more than not uh, much uh, tough. They won't give in integers. Only the thing integers, how you're supposed to add, subtract, multiply, divide, divide this part should be taken care. That's about uh, the part of the chapter. And uh, can we start a new chapter? Ma'am, please. Or else, can we go with uh, more uh, more questions on this? Please let me know, children. Ma'am, you are wish. Can we go with IMO material also in chapter one, or else can we start new chapter? Ma'am, we'll go with the questions. IMO questions, okay. That is a competency questions, okay. Okay, let me take few questions. Yeah. In IMO, the question number one, uh, let me go with, uh, yeah, one minute, children. please give a minute time so that I can, I can present the screen. Ah, uh, right. Yes, you are able to see children. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there is a question here. The following number line shows that temperature in degree Celsius of a place on first day of six months. When I cannot clearly happen since. So, December, what is the temperature at December, March, and May, and June? Here, the questions, that is only case-based. You have a source. On which date the temperature was minimum? Minimum means least. 
मैम जनवरी इंग्लिश जनवरी फर्स्ट मैम फर्स्ट जनवरी यस फर्स्ट जनवरी द टेंपरेचर वाज द लीस्ट मिनिमम मींस लीस्ट बिकॉज़ इफ यू मूव टू द नंबर लाइन इफ यू टुवर्ड्स लेफ्ट साइड इज जनवरी मंथ दैट्स व्हाई जनवरी इज द लीस्ट टेंपरेचर व्हाट इज द टेंपरेचर इन जनवरी मैम Minus eleven, minus twelve, minus thirteen degrees Celsius. Yes, yes sir. No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, how much was the increase in temperature from May to June? You have to compare from May to June. May May month is ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is thirteen degrees Celsius. Then in June is uh, temperature is twenty four degrees Celsius. Thirteen to twenty-four. How many degrees Celsius we have? Or else count how many lines are there? You can easily identify. Hmm. Eleven. Ma'am. Eleven. Eleven degrees Celsius. The temperature between May to the month of June, it is eleven degrees Celsius. Very good. Now. Evaluate the following. You can simplify, children. You can simplify the following. Negative sixteen divided by this part. You should do first. Bracket should be solved first. Negative thirteen minus negative three. Leshita, please answer ma. Negative. What is the value of negative thirteen and negative three? One minus sixteen. Very good. It's minus sixteen. So minus sixteen divided by minus sixteen. Same number divided by same number. Ma'am, one. Very good. It's one. That's about numerator. What about denominator? Ma'am, one. One. One divided by one is one. One. Very good, Leshita. Very good. Go with question number four. Krithvik. Krithvik. Yes, ma'am. Please read the question four, ma'am. Find P and Q. The split of the sum of two integers is seventy one. If one of them is minus one of one, the other integer is dash. Oh, that's the p value. If you find that is p value, the product of the integer and the q is zero. The product of integer q and zero. You have to find out both. The product of an integer and the q is zero. These are application sums, Krithvi. Uh, oh, so my mm -hmm. pen is moving. Sum of two integers is seventy-one. One of the number is minus one not one. Sum of two integers is seventy-one. What is sum of two integers? Seventy-one. Sum of two integers is seventy-one. One of them is minus one not one. You can find the other one. So, if what number if you add it to one not one, you will get seventy-one as a result. Please, who will give the first answer? Prithvi, Varshit, Varshit, or Leshita? Ma'am, Varshit. Varshit will give first. Yes, yes Varshit. Yes, Varshit. This. What is the this? You should. P is equals to one not one plus seventy one. Very good. Very good. Very good, Varshit. It's one seventy two. Yes, ma'am. So p value is one seventy two. Now go with q. So q means what number multiplied with the q makes you zero? They may give uh, zero. What is the number you are supposed to find out? 
an int the product of an integer and q is zero the product of an integer and q is zero q multiplied with what number makes you zero go with options this type of questions you please go with options okay Maybe it is zero also. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. It is yes, zero. Absolutely. If zero multiplied with any number is only zero. Yes. So what is the answer here? One. Zero. Zero. Which option? Option A, option B, option C, option D. Ma'am, option A. Option A is correct. Absolutely. Option A is correct. Very good. Uh, now, Krithvi, question number five. Mm -hmm. Mom, which of the following in statements is incorrect? The multiplicative identity for integers is one. Mom, that's slowly. Slowly, one. slowly, one by one. See, incorrect. They are very bravely they are asking questions today. Which of the following statement is correct means we can identify easily. But here they mentioned which of the following statement is incorrect. The multiplicative identity for integers is one. Yes, it is true statement. It is correct statement. Now, subtraction does not obey commutative law, commutative law of integers. Yes, this is also true. No, no, subtraction does not come. Yes, it is true statement. Multiplication of integers with unlike signs is always positive. Hey, multiplication of unlike signs is? Non-negative. Negative. Which statement is incorrect here? I'm seeing. Very good, Kritvik. Very good. Now, Leshita, question number six, please. Leshita, please. Question number six. Which of the following number sentences best describes the problem shown in the number line? Yes, Leshita. The value of this all they're asking. What is the value of this, Leshita? There is a technique here. There is a one logic here. Based on that logic, you can do. Leshita, any doubt? Can I help you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You see, Leshita, zero multiplied with any number is? Ma'am, zero. Zero. Can you please find anywhere in first expression zero here? Zero multiplied with any numbers is zero only. Again, plus? Zero multiplied with this complete set is again zero. Zero plus zero is? Ma'am, zero. Zero. What is the option? Ma'am, option D. Option? D. Is it option D, Leshita? Yes, ma'am. Right. Hope you understood the logic. Yes, yes ma'am. Ah, zero multiplied with any numbers, not only one, two. There are 10 numbers, 15 numbers, 20. If you multiply it with the zero, the result is zero. So like that, there is one set multiplied with the zero, so it becomes zero. Another set, it is multiplied with these all numbers. It is also zero, makes you total zero. Now, last question, Varshit. Yes, ma'am. In a magic square, if each row, column, and diagonal have the same sum, then the value of A and B respectively are? 
हेलो मैम यस मैजिक स्क्वायर मींस ईच रो एंड कॉलम डायगोनल्स हैव द सेम सम दैट्स अ मैजिक स्क्वायर देन यू नो फर्स्ट रो 1 minus 10 What is the value of sum of one minus ten plus zero? Ma'am, is equal to nine, ma'am. Which nine? Ma'am, negative nine. Sir, ah. negative. If you keep what number? One plus a plus minus six is equal to negative nine. You can see one plus a plus six is equal to negative nine. Let me check. Six or negative six. Negative six. Hmm. You need to find out a value. Four, ma'am. Minus four. Minus four or plus four. Minus four, ma'am. Minus four. Very good. It's minus four because these two are like signs. You can add and keep. So one plus minus ten. Which is uh, minus nine. So again, minus nine opposite. So minus nine equal to minus nine. So value of a is minus four. Very good, very good, Varshit. What about the value of b? So how you can take minus six plus plus four plus b is equal to minus nine. Minus six. Minus six plus P is equal to minus nine. First, we should do minus six plus four. No, B plus what number? Ma'am, B plus minus nine. Ma'am, minus nine, I think. <clears throat> what ma? Minus seven. Minus seven, ma'am. Very minus good. Let me check. Ah, uh, four minus seven. Now this is twelve thirteen. Yes, absolutely correct. Ash, Varshit, Varshit, B is minus seven. Right, very good. Leshita, understood, ma? Did you understood all these questions? Any doubt here? No, ma'am. That's about your first page of integers in IMO. Easy only children. There are another question like nineteenth question. I have to write on the screen. Prithvi, please answer nineteenth question. Yes. No, oh, not ninth question. Compare and fill the box. You have to compare and fill in the blank. What's your ninth question? It's negative fifty six multiplied with negative two uh, plus fifty four. Plus minus nine. This is one part, left side part. You have to put appropriate sign here. The right side is minus one seventy six minus one seventy six plus. Minus sixteen minus sixteen this is one pair, and not only this, this should be multiplied with minus three. And minus of minus eighty seven. Who will do this bit? Everyone can do and answer the question through chat box. What is LHS value? Twenty 
LHS means left hand side value. And what is right hand side value? And which sign you're supposed to keep in the box you have to put it? Come on, children, please start doing. We already completed multiplication. I gave yesterday only which operation we should do first if multiplication addition is there. DMAS rule you can apply. Sorry, children, it's not, uh, it's a division symbol, children. It's not plus, it's a division symbol. Please think about this is division. Here also, it is not addition, it is division. I cannot notice that. DMOS rule you can apply. Who will give first answer, correct answer? Let me see. Three of you, please try to do in your book and answer the uh, answer me through chart box. Yes, are you doing, Leshita? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm waiting for your answers. Please do correctly and through message me through chat box.
Yes, I got two answers. Leshita is left side 106, right side 54. And Krithvik is left side 118 and right side 54. Maybe right side both of you matched. But left side part, I'm not sure who is correct, Leshita or Krithvik. Mm -hmm. What about Varshit? What is the left side value you got? Ma'am, I just uh, marked the numbers wrong, so I'm doing it again. Okay. Amma work senivaram chesta danta. Amma work senivaram chesta danta. Wardu repu busy anta vere work inka complete kale danta. Yes. Children, are you doing or else still uh, whose answer is worship is not at center? Mm -hmm. uh, let me check whose is correct. There are two answers given by the mm -hmm. students. Okay. So first one according to D mass rule, bot mass and uh, D mass. Uh, so which is division should be first. So I have to divide this part. 54 play, divided by 9 is so 9, how many times 54? 9, 9, 6. 9, 6 are 54, so minus 6 because it is minus there. Then it is multiplication. 56 into 2 minus of minus become plus. Uh, 50 plus 50, 100, 1, 1, 2, 112. Plus this if I subtract, uh, so 6. It's 106 is the correct. Who gave this 106? It's Leshita, I think so. Yes, Leshita, your answer was absolutely correct. And uh, Krithvik, please check once. Uh, I think you uh -huh. added instead, uh, instead of minus sign, you are taking plus sign. Hi, right here? Yes, sir. That is a mistake done by you. Everything was correct. Right side, let me check this division minus minus cancelled and uh, 16, 180 means uh, 4, uh, how many times for 4? Uh, no, I got uh, 11. Man. 11 times? Yes, ma'am. 16 into 11. 16 into 11. Okay. 16, 160. Yeah, correct. One, 11 times correct. Multiplied with minus 3. Minus of minus become plus 87. Now, 11 into minus 3 is minus 33 plus 87. This becomes opposite sign. You can subtract. 7 minus 3 is 4. Yeah, here, uh, 8 minus 3 is 5. So, greater number, 54. Right. Yeah, I think both are correct. Only the thing, uh, Krithvik is a sign. Uh, he forgot. Uh, please take care about the signs too, Krithvik. That's all. Now, which is greater? Which sign I can keep? I can keep this part. Yes. Right. Yes, uh, can we go with the next question, 10th question? Yes, Which of the following statements are correct? Please listen the statements or else shall I write all the statements in the bone? It takes time, children, no need. Please listen. All natural numbers are whole numbers. First statement is, all natural numbers belongs to a whole numbers and and all whole numbers all whole numbers belongs to integers 
This is the question, first statement. Second statement, is it a true or false, children? All natural numbers belongs to? Yes, it is true, whole numbers. All whole numbers also belongs to integers. This is also true. This is true statement. Next, coming to all whole numbers are integers. All whole numbers are integers. Yes, integers. And uh, all integers are natural numbers. All integers, integers means z belongs to natural numbers. No, this is false. Of course, it is true, but this is fail. Natural, all the integers not are natural numbers. So this is false statement. Next. All integers are whole numbers. All integers are belongs to whole numbers. This is also wrong statement. Maybe it is false. Next, fourth one is all integers are whole numbers. All integers, integers are whole numbers they gave. So this is also false statement, which is the correct statement. This yeah. is all natural oh, numbers true. are all natural numbers are whole numbers. All whole numbers are integers. Because natural number set, if you take it starts from one, so on to up to infinite. Then whole numbers, which is included zero with all natural numbers, we can take. If that is the integer set, which is negative numbers, negative numbers, and all uh, whole numbers belongs to Z. And the next part, this is you can see. Now they are asking all Z are belongs to W. All integers are yes, not all. Few integers are belongs to W. And negative integers are not there in W. That's why it's a wrong statement. Only first statement is correct. Yes, this type of questions also you can get in your competitive examinations general. You have to uh, time, you should take uh, the time. You have to see the time and uh, within time you're supposed to complete. Next, uh, last but not least, the value of X in the following question. You have to find out the value of x in this. This is also like earlier question, uh, what we did. Uh, uh, negative 19 multiplied with uh, 4, 4 plus 2. 4 plus negative 2. 4 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 19 multiplied with 4 plus minus 19 into x. You have to find out the value of x here. You have to find out the value of x. Here are no bracket here, just to have 19 into 4. You have to find out the value of x. Come on, children, how are you supposed to do? First left side, you can think negative 19 multiplied with 4 plus minus 2. What is the value of 4 plus minus 2, which is 2? In two times? No, minus 38. Go with the right side. The right side, 19, four times. Nineteen four times. Mom, 17. Minus 19. Mom, 17, minus, 76. Minus 76. 76. Very good. Again, minus into minus, minus 19x. Yes. Now you have to check this once again. Rearrange now you have to send this minus 76 to other side. It becomes plus children. Okay. So minus 38 plus 76 is equal to minus 19x. Minus 19x. Chala important question, Nana. 76 minus 36. 76 minus 76 minus 38. It's 8. 
6 minus 3 is 3. So, which is 38 is equal to minus 19 multiplied with x children. So, what number multiplied with uh, uh, 19 makes you 38? Mom, two. So, what is the value of x here? Mom, two. Huh? Mm. So, nine, what number multiplied with 19 makes you 38 plus 38? Mom, two. Negative two. Negative two. Very good. Who said negative two is the correct answer? Like that application sums. Only we know very well about integers. They can give whatever the questions based on this children. Uh, you can do this type of questions also. These are a little bit uh, level high difficulty level questions. Last question for today's class. Uh, what will be the sign of the product if together multiplied by 199 negative integers and 10 positive integers? So, the beautiful question here. See, children, you see here, very beautiful question it is. There are negative 199 numbers. You should multiply negative 199 negative 199 numbers like negative numbers you should multiply with uh, how many 199 numbers okay multiplied with multiplied with 10 positive numbers plus numbers 10 plus numbers 10 multiplied with plus number multiply like the 10 numbers so what is the result? Is negative or positive? Ma'am, it's negative, ma'am. Why very very good, Varshit? Why? Ma'am, because the numbers which are negative are all numbers. One ninety nine is all. Very good. Here, ten is even number, so plus sign you will get. So here, one ninety nine is odd number. You will get a negative result here. Here you will get negative result. Here you will get a plus result. Negative minus plus makes you? Negative. Negative. Yes, Leshita and Krithvik, did you understood this question? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, this is one more question asking in the competitive examination. Uh, that's about, there is a last question. We have to complete this also, children. A collection of numbers which contains all positive numbers, all negative numbers, including zero, is known as dash numbers. Integers. Very good. It's integers. Collection of all negative numbers, all positive numbers, including zero, is called integers. Right, children? That's all, children. There is a work for me to complete today. I'm leaving a little 10 minutes early. Uh, you can do the work um, next class. Can we go with the next chapter? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I think IMO questions are also, you are doing very well, children. Today, I saw more 13 questions I gave for you. So you people are doing uh, so fast and uh, you are trying to do. Uh, if possible, next class, we will do with more questions about IMO. Or else we can start fractions and multiple fractions. Fractions and decimals. Uh, we'll see that uh, because the questions, if any questions I need to discuss means we will do or else uh, we'll go with the new chapter. Okay. Any doubts regarding to today's session? No, no. no, no. Can we end up the session, children? Yes, ma'am. Oh, right. Yes. Bye, children. Have a good day. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Let me.